Hey guys, how's it going today? Ken here with KenMelendez.com. I want to talk to you about recruiting today. Now I'm going to talk to you about what not to do and what to do in order to get people to look at your product, your service, your opportunity. Because you have to remember that marketing is a numbers game. Okay, so the more eyes that you can get onto your presentation, onto your product, onto whatever it is that you're selling, then the better chance that you have of somebody purchasing from you and or joining your opportunity. So stay tuned for this show because I'm gonna share exactly what you need to do and what you must not do in order to recruit properly, especially online. Okay, so what's one of the first things that you don't wanna do? You absolutely do not want to send a direct link to somebody you've never met before upon you know the very first message you definitely don't want to just send a raw link straight to your opportunity or straight to your product because what this is going to do it's going to create confusion within your prospects mind they're going to be thinking what is this this must be spam and so they're just going to block it out of their mind okay so instead Instead of sending them directly to a capture page or directly to a sales page, you want to do almost the opposite of that. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. What I currently do, since I specialize in video blogging and creating videos of all kinds, what I do is whenever I friend request somebody or you know someone accepts my request or I, request, I accept their request, what will happen is I'll jump on my phone and I'll record a short video just introducing myself, telling them who I am, and how I'm excited to connect with them, how I'm excited to see their posts, and uh, just to you know see what they're all about and get to know them. So I post a little welcome video to them, that way they can see who I am, they can connect with me instantly, and they'll know exactly what I'm about. Not promoting anything, I'm just getting to know them. Okay. What you need to do after that is ask questions. You need to dig deeper. You need to find out you know, if they're a business owner or if they're not a business owner, if they're looking to get into an opportunity, if they want to work into, in a side project that you know, won't interfere with what they're currently doing. So you want to dig deeper. You want to find out you know, if they have a family, um, you know, what their pains are, what their goals are, what they're trying to achieve in their life. You have to do that first and you have to you know, ask question after question because once you do, that's going to build the trust. They're going to come to trust you. They're going to come to like you. And then you can point them in the right direction. So say your opportunity is a good fit for them. Well, then what you'll do is you'll ask them if they'd be open to a side project that doesn't interfere with what they're currently doing. Okay. A lot of people will respond positive, positively to this and they'll say, of course. And you'll ask them if you can shoot them a link. Okay, never send a link without getting somebody's permission first. Okay, that this is just kind of like uh, online marketing 101. Um, you know, obviously once in a while it will work, but more often than not, you want to go through a process of asking questions, find out what they need, you know, what their life looks like, what their pains are, and then direct them to either your opportunity or if you're selling an affiliate product or your own personal product that you know is absolutely going to help them, then send them that. Okay, So be like a, a consultant, a person who can send somebody something that they need that will help their current situation, whether that's your opportunity, whether that's a product, whatever it is, a service. Okay, Depending on their situation, you can send them something of value that will help them. It could even be a training. Could even be a, a, a webinar that they can tune into and get information to help them to move their business forward. Okay, so when you're uh, recruiting online, when you're recruiting, especially on social media, just be social. Um, you know, don't be spammy. Spammy comes across as you know people just putting up their hand and saying no. A lot of people can recognize this right away. So don't be spammy. Be personable. Be sociable and really give the person that you're talking to a solution to their problem, okay? If you guys want more information about this, feel free to private message me, okay? Because I, I know an exact, um, a, a really good product, a really good 
um, system that will help a lot of people with their marketing and I'm actually using that right now um, this video is actually a product of what I've learned in this system so feel free to private message me um, if you want more great training like this feel free to go to KenMelendez.com shoot me an email to Ken at KenMelendez.com or hit me up on Facebook or Twitter I'd love to connect with you and talk with you further about um, marketing about recruiting about business building in general so I hope you guys got value from this if you did feel free to share it around as well go ahead and leave a comment a like um, subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube go ahead and subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll be able to get great tips and strategies like this on a regular basis from me so I hope you guys have an amazing day today and I will see you guys in the next video bye for now